Medical advances in the field of transplantation have increased the demand for organ donation beyond our current capacity to supply them. Some of the limitations within the South African context to organ donation can be attributed to differing religious and cultural beliefs. When we talk about culture, we're referring to the ideas, customs, and social behaviors of a particular people or society and how these influence their responses. In order to overcome these limitations, there are several cultural competencies we must have before initiating a discussion around organ donation. And these include an understanding of the different ways in which people grieve and how they manage their grief, an awareness of beliefs regarding handling of the body, the burial process, and issues related to life after death. Some families may be reluctant to consent because they may regard organ harvesting as a desecration of the body. We need to appreciate different ways in which people will interact with us and respond to us. For instance, in some cultures, avoiding eye contact is a sign of respect. We need to understand and respect the levels of authority in family structures. For example, in the case of a 50-year-old brain-dead African man, legally it may be enough to obtain consent from his wife as a next of kin, and indeed she may be willing to give consent, but culturally a level of assent needs to be obtained from the family elders and those chosen representatives. And finally, we must appreciate that the level of education may make an understanding of the processes involved in organ transplantation that much more difficult. We therefore would need to take extra time to remedy this by communicating in the correct language and at the appropriate level to ensure sufficient understanding. Our South African context is complex because not only do we have a wide variety of different cultures, there is also a very real racial divide. We as a nation are still trying to recover from decades of a colonial oppression, the legacy of which include the physical and spiritual disposition of the African. This has left deep divisions that continue to express themselves in the differing levels of wealth, quality of education, and separation of communities. And these are just some of the legacies that continue to impact differentially on our economic prospects and continue to stoke the mistrust we have in each other. We need to be aware of and guard against covert and overt racial prejudices we hold personally as doctors and healthcare professionals in the workplace and give each family of, of a potential organ donor the opportunity to consider supporting organ donation. It is important for us to understand these nuances in order to have a meaningful conversation with grieving families and to form a positive framework of concepts that have the ability to improve our quality of life as a society, such as organ donation. Cultural identity is not static. It grows and changes as people assimilate. It has the ability to absorb new practices that can benefit the collective. Sometimes all that is needed for a healthy level of assimilation to take place is a mutual respect for one another. Cultures that are historically paternalistic in dealing with others often do more harm to the process of assimilation. People will draw to you and respect you and what you offer if they can feel that you respect them and their culture. Our respect for each other comes from the acceptance of the value of the individual and their family without passing judgment on their cultural practices and beliefs. Organ donation is something that can and should transcend all our divisions. It has an ability to bring us all together in the common goal of helping each other. <laughs>